Hi there, my name's Chris Kilby. I'm a pastor in a pergola, and here is today's bite-sized Bible from 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 22. And I want to talk to you about two things today that were important to Paul. Pace and purity. Pace and purity. Paul highlights in this verse that we're going to look at two aspects of Timothy's leadership life, pace and purity, that he wants him to consider. Let me read to you what he says in verse 22. He says this, Do not be hasty in the laying on of hands, and do not share in the sins of others. Keep yourself pure. So firstly, he says the laying on, in this laying on of hands, don't be hasty about that. Now he's talking here about that moment when we recognize and appoint new elders in the church, laying hands on them to uh, demonstrate that impartation of the Holy Spirit's anointing and gifting for their new leadership role. Uh, and you might think to yourself, well, surely we need to do this more quickly in these days. We've got a mission to accomplish. We've got many churches to plant. This is the time when we should be quickly laying hands on elders and releasing people into leadership. Well, I want to say no. No. It is much more important that we have the, the right person at the right time in their Christian walk. You see, mistakes in uh, appointing leaders are costly. They're costly in the individual's life and the life of the local church. It's much better to take time and allow people to lead effectively for a, a, a significant season. You know, when I'm appointing leaders, I would rather people said, of course, what took you so long in appointing that person? Uh, rather than looking at them and saying, what, well, him? Do you think he's ready? So, so Paul says, don't be hasty in the laying on of hands. Take, take a bit longer. Secondly, he said, keep yourself pure. Don't get muddled up in other people's sin. Now, one of the challenges of pastoral ministry is that you are always dealing with other people's sin, whether that's some kind of moral or spiritual fall, some kind of sexual sin, some kind of unfaithfulness, some kind of brokenness along the way somewhere. And, and, and Paul's encouragement is that you get involved, but you don't get polluted by the sin of others. You have to somehow keep yourself pure. How do I do this? Well, if I've got a significant, important pastoral meeting coming up, I will pray beforehand for the protection of God. And uh, as I'm coming out and as I'm on my way home, I will pray for cleansing from the thoughts, the images, the words and the concepts that I've been dealing with, because I don't want to get polluted or tainted by the sin of others, but I do want to love and serve and support those that God has called me to share, to care for. So there's my encouragement to you. Firstly, with leaders, take a bit longer. Allow them to mature. Make sure the timing's right. And with sin, don't get muddled into it. Pray for protection and for cleansing. My name's Chris Gilby, a pastor in a pergola, and that was today's Bite Size Bible from 1 Timothy 5, verse 22. And I shall see you next time.